Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a grocery haul. I've never done a video like this before. This is my first time, but I thought it would be quite fun because um, my parents are away this week, so me and my sister just went grocery shopping. And sorry about the background noise. My sister's just making some dinner, so if you hear some rustling in the background, that's my sister. Um, so this is just an overview of everything that we bought today. And we spent just over £50. And um, all of this stuff that I'm going to show you, what we got today, is from Tesco. Um, so I'll start on this end, and then I'll work my way down. But I'll just show you an overview of everything that we got. So to begin with, we have the drinks over here. So I've got a little bit, a little one of the skimmed milk. That's for me because I don't really like drinking semi-skimmed or whole milk. Um, I don't really drink milk anyway, but sometimes if I feel like it, I feel like having it in my tea or coffee, then I like to always have the red top one. Uh, we have the green semi-skimmed milk here and this is for the rest of the family because they all drink this one. Um, zero... Coke Zero is my favourite. I actually prefer Diet Coke and Coke Zero to normal Coke. I don't know why I just do. Um, and obviously the plus side is that it doesn't have all that sugar in it. Even though I know it's not great for you anyway. But I um, <clears throat> I always get Coke cravings. And I just I can cut everything else out of my diet. But I just can't cut Coke out. So <laughs> this is for me. And then got two bottles of squash. Um, these are the Robinsons, so this is a new flavour actually, and it's the ro cranberry and raspberry, and this is strawberry and kiwi, and my sister loves squash, so that's the main thing she drinks, this is for her, and these were like, I think they were two for two pounds in Tesco, so we've got two different flavours, and then down here we've got peppered Scottish smoked mackerel fillet. Um, I preferred the ones which come with the pepper on already. I know you can season them yourself, but um, this fish is really, really good to eat, especially on the diet that I'm on at the moment. I'm not really on a specific diet, but I'm just trying to be healthy, so I've got a lot of fish and chicken. So the chicken's just underneath here. So we brought um, thigh fillets because thigh fillets are just the best. I definitely prefer th <coughs> prefer them to normal fillets. And then we also have normal breast, um, chicken breast there as well. So we're going to be making a few different things throughout the week. I might do a video one day of me maybe like cooking one of our dinners. Because um, I'm going to have like a Mexican night on Wednesday I think. And I'm going to make some Mexican dishes and I'm also going to bake that day. So we'll see. But yeah, so we've got chicken and fish there. And over here I have the Cathedral City Mature Cheese and it's actually the lighter version so it still tastes the same but it's 30% less fat. Um, I don't really eat cheese that much anyway, I'm trying to cut as, as much dairy as possible out of my diet but we do still need this, like for Mexican night I'll grate, grate this cheese up and my sister obviously still has cheese in some of her dishes so we got that. And then we got... Some free range eggs, and there's 12 in here, medium ones. Oh my god, for some reason, in the aisle where we got the eggs from, it stank of like, what did it sink of? Like, it's just smelt really bad. Like, I couldn't even breathe, it was disgusting. But that's the eggs that we got. My sister hates eggs. Um, it's a long story, so I won't explain right now, but she doesn't like them. Um, but I needed them to bake the cake, and I like to have like an omelette or something for lunch because it's healthy and it's protein and it's good for you. Um, and then one day for dinner, we're just going to have soup because it's quick and easy, and I don't really want to be cooking every evening. So we just got this Tesco carrot and coriander soup. I've never tried it before, but my sister said carrot and coriander soup's really tasty, and it's uh, pretty healthy as well, so... I thought we'd try this one day. Um, and then for my Mexican night, I also got some seasonings. So the Old El, Old El Paso <coughs> seasoning mix. This is actually for tacos, but I'm making nachos for starters. And I thought this would be nice and tasty to sprinkle over the nachos. So this is a garlic and paprika seasoning. And then I also got the Old El Paso 
um, seasoning for fajitas, which is a spunky barbecue, and I always use this when I make fajitas because it just makes them taste amazing. So I highly recommend these seasonings. Um, actually, I've never tried the garlic and paprika one, but it sounds really nice. But the smoky barbecue one's always really tasty. And then also for the Mexican, I got some jalapenos. They're just the Tesco brand ones in brine. And also the Tesco brand hot salsa. And I've tried this before and it's pretty much the same as the other salsas. So I don't see why you should spend more money on a smaller tub of salsa just because of the brand. So this one's really good. And then... Um, just some snacks for my sister. I don't really tend to eat too many noodles, but she loves these Maggie noodles and these are the curry flavour. So it's just a quick and easy snack to be honest. And here I bought this dip selection. So instead of like having sour cream etc with the nachos, um, <clears throat> I prefer these dips because there's four different ones in here. So this is a Tesco brand again and they have onion and garlic flavour, sour cream and chive, cheese and chive and creamy sweet chilli and all four of them taste amazing. I've been um, using these dips for years and I just love them. So I got them to accompany my Mexican dishes. And then over here we just have Everyday Value Tesco chopped tomatoes because, you know, you can use them in loads of different dishes like curries and my Mexican that I'm going to make and loads of other things, basically. Um, so that's why we got to them. And these are really good value for money. They're only like 30-something P, 33P, I think, per can. Um... And then, like I said, I'm going to be baking a cake, so I've got some vanilla icing, buttercream style, and this is the Betty Crocker icing. The only thing I would say about this icing, it's a bit pricey, it's £2.50 for this tub, and sometimes I use a whole tub on one cake, so I don't know if I'm putting too much icing on it, but there you go. And then this is a little um, summer snack that my sister likes. So we got these, I don't know how to pronounce the company name, but it's basically mandarins in fruit juice. No, sorry, mandarins fruit in juice. And um, they're just like little tubs like that. So there's four in that pack. And then over here we have these naked bars. I love these naked bars, but there's some flavours that are a bit funny and some that are really tasty. I've never tried this banana bread flavour, but it was on offer today. Um, so there's four in here and they were £2. Um, so they're really good. So it's one of your five a day and it's just basically what it says. These are the ingredients. So it's got dates, bananas, oats, walnuts, raisins, apple juice from concentrate. <coughs> Sorry, my throat went a bit funny. And they are wheat and dairy free and no added sugar. So that's why I like these. They're really healthy. Um, I have quite a few favourites from this company, but I've never tried this, so we'll see. I'm sure I will like them, though. And then these chocolate fingers are actually for the cake that I'm going to make. So I'm going to be sticking them on the edge of my cake. So chocolate fingers... And then this Pick and Mix by Nestle. I think this is new because I've never seen it in Tesco's before. But it has four different Nestle um, chocolates. So it's got Rolo, Munchies, Toffee Crisps and Caramac. <clears throat> so it sounds like quite a good mix actually because I like all of them chocolates. And that's going to be sprinkled on top of the cake that I'm baking. So it's going to be a really nice yummy chocolatey cake. And then just some snacks here, because sometimes I do like to snack, but obviously I don't really want to be in crisps, seeing as I'm being healthy. So I've got these Snack Jacks. This is my favourite flavour at the moment, sour cream and chive. I used to really be into the salt and vinegar flavour, but I've gone off it because I've eaten it so much. So I've got the small packs and prefer, and and I actually prefer the smaller ones. So these are the small packets and they're like this big. Um, then the big ones, like the big rice cakes they sell. Because I don't know why they... The big ones just taste a bit more like cardboard than these. So these are actually quite tasty. Um, and they're not too bad. They've only got 90, 91 calories per packet. So that's not too bad. And then these are just um, the Tesco brand... Lightly, sli lightly salted tortilla chips and um, these I'm just going to be using for the nachos 
and then moving to the veg section over here um, we brought some just normal brown onions and some brussels sprouts onions I use as a base for pretty much everything um, I always fry onions when I'm cooking like a curry or even when I make my fajitas I'll be using these um, and then we've got some brussels sprouts which is I like sprouts and so does my sister so we can just use these like on the side just as one of our veg <coughs> vegetables we maybe our fish or our chicken or something and then we brought some mushrooms, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are my favourite types of tomatoes, so I really, really like them. I could just eat them by themselves, or you can put them in, they're really nice in a salad as well. I'm going to be making us a salad in a moment. Um, and then just this pack of peppers. There were five peppers in here, but I had to take one out because my sister was cooking. So um, just some Tesco cooking peppers in there. And these come in handy for loads of different dishes again, like all veg does. Um, got an avocado here just for to make homemade guacamole. Um, I actually prefer homemade over shop brought because I don't really like the flavour of shop brought guacamole because it doesn't really have much of a flavour I feel like. Um, and then cucumber, um, just some salad stuff really. Bananas because they're good to snack on and one via five a day and we got some whole wheat linguine. I actually thought linguine was the thicker ones, but it's not. It's this spaghetti. Um, but I might make like some sort of seafood spaghetti, but whole wheat's healthier than white, so that's why we got that. <clears throat> and over here, I haven't decided what cake base I'm making yet. So I do have red velvet already at home, um, but I brought this everyday sponge mix just in case. I feel like making a Victoria sponge cake. But this was really good. It was only 22p, which is just so cheap. Um, but that's really good. I'm sure it tastes lovely. Um, and then, moving on to like the bread section. So we've brought quite a lot of bread and stuff. Um, so these, my, mainly most of this is for my sister because she likes this sort of thing for breakfast in the morning. But um, she brought cinnamon and raisin toasty loaf. This actually looks so tasty and it's by Pankin Selection. I think that's the company name, I don't know. Um, but she likes to have this for breakfast and to be honest if I wasn't trying to be healthy right now I wouldn't mind some of that as well. And also these chocolate chip, um, the Tesco brand, chocolate chip brioche rolls, which also look really tasty. Um, again, for my sister, I won't be having any of that. And then um, for my for the soup that I just showed you, so the carrot and coriander soup just there, um, my sister just brought some of these part-baked baguettes, so she'll just... We'll just bake them on the day that we eat the soup. I probably write if I do have a little bit, I have like a little chunk like that because um, usually I don't really like to have too much bread. But obviously with soup, it is nice to have a little bit of bread. Um, these multi seed batch rolls. Um, my sister wanted them. I don't know what she wants to eat them with. Maybe like a sandwich, or something. Um, but yeah, so they actually look really nice and. Uh, they're healthier than white bread, so they look nice. And then I just got two different types of wraps because obviously I'm sticking to like the whole wheat type thing. So this is the multi seed tortilla wraps, and they're both Tesco brand. Um, because the other brand, just because they're brown branded, were like over a pound. They're like one pound sixty or something. Whereas these were like ninety p, and you get eight massive wraps. So they're really big wraps as well. So these are the multi seed tortilla wraps with linseeds and poppy seeds. So I'll be having these, and then I thought I'd buy white tortilla wraps as well because obviously um, I'm cooking for others as well and not all of them will want the um, <coughs> whole meal wraps so I decided to buy some white ones as well. These are the same 90p and you get eight massive wraps in them. So basically that is everything that we brought today in the shop. This is actually just we're planning that this will all last us for one week um, and then our parents are going to be back next week so we'll do another shop next week but I think it's pretty good um, and I've got lots to 
uh, play with as well to make different meals and stuff. Got chi lots of chicken and fish and vegetables and stuff. So we'll have nice fresh meals every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a really different one to what I usually do. But let me know if you liked it. Um, or let me know if you want me to like make any videos of me cooking some meals and stuff. Um, but yeah, please don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. And if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.